So this is for my vlog. And <clears throat> my vlog has become, I guess, sort of popular. Um, hold on. You know, I started doing my vlog as a way to document, you know, a vlog. Oh, God. Okay, whatever. I'm just going to hold this. As a, as a way to doc, this is ridiculous, but this is, you know what? This is not working at all. I mean, it's fine. It's just, it's just, they're just boobs. Yeah, mine are bigger than usual. They're not average boobs, but you'll never have these boobs. So I've noticed, I mean, uh, whatever I, that's a, a terrible thing to say <laughs> but I mean I'm a committed woman I'm committed to my twin flame so I'm not available this really isn't about my boobs this is my vlog I started doing a vlog it was about me it was about like a diary it was me feeling invisible all the time and me feeling led to document my life in case I died suddenly or something that it would have, you know, there would have been a witness. It was about witnessing. Hold on, let me turn this off. It was about documenting me, my feelings, my thoughts, my experiences. Let me put her up here. <laughs> my Hello Kitty. You know, and now I've watched my vlog get more subscribers than my Twin Flame channel or anything so I've been like what the hell is going on with my vlog I I really didn't do it for attention it was more of a diary I didn't think anybody would watch it and now it's got more subscribers than any other channel I have so it, that was very unusual and not expected and I don't really understand it I still struggle with self-hate I do that's why, um, I don't like, so these are, this is my boobs. This is my tank top. It's a tank top. I don't know why I can't get it. I can't find clothes that fit me or whatever. I'm not trying to get lust. I'm not trying to be seen even. I mean, I want to be rich and famous. I want to travel the world. Honestly. Um, I do. I've always. But I'm scared of attention. I'm not trying to get lust attention. I'm not trying to get guys to fall all over me or anything. I mean, but of course I can't control that. I cannot control that. So I guess I was feeling shame from it because I was sexually abused. Um, so when I was a little kid, grown men said I had better eyes and would google at me like whatever you want to call it they would look at me weird creepy they would say creepy things to me I was dirty I was slimed because my grandfather did that I was a little girl I was innocent that is not the attention I wanted it's not the attention believe it or not that I still want I don't want that I want approval but I don't want guys to creepy slimy mmm disrespect me or be inappropriate to me or be all about my boobs or about my butt or about my stomach or about my ankles for all that you know what I mean like it's just a body I mean I'm glad maybe at some level you approve of me but and that is it is weird you know we talk about the um awakening spiritually awakening um there's a lot of that going on since covid and we talk about um i don't know where i'm going i keep getting lost for some reason tonight when i keep doing my videos um i keep feeling stressed and anxious and pressure um so i don't know why but i just did a reading and it's not the reading it's also my twin flame has not called me for two days and i don't know what to do about that 
I usually don't call him or text him, but I'm honestly feeling triggered of some self-hate because of that. So that's why he can't call me. That's why he's not calling me for two days because it's going to trigger my self-hate and I need it to, even though it doesn't feel good right now. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, you don't know what I'm talking about. You don't know. I, I, I always say I have to face my fears. I have to, you know, that's a well-known, right? That's a popular saying and belief. Face your fears. How about face your insecurities? How about face your self-hate? Mm-hmm. You got to face all that stuff. What are you doing, miss? In order to heal it. So I'm not trying to get a bunch of guys. I don't even know if that's approval. It's making me feel dirty. It's making me feel ashamed. Um, this vlog was not meant for that. I didn't. I honestly, I did this innocently just to record and document myself. So now it's kind of freaking me out. I want good attention. I didn't even know I was going to need to get attention. I guess I didn't think it through. You know, if you think things through too much, you won't want to do it. You won't do anything. So I'm not hiding. Yes, I have boobs. Yes, they're really big. Whatever. This isn't an OnlyFans account. Um, but I'm also doing this against shame. I'm going to talk about it because I deserve good attention oh my god <laughs> and they are pretty big but this is not about my boobs I am more than my boobs I am more than my vagina or my butt or my ankles I have a soul and I have a mind so I want to feel valuable I want to feel special I want to feel dignified I want to feel honorable. I want to feel respected. I want to feel valued. Um, beautiful. More than beautiful. Beautiful to me. I guess I always saw the beauty as makeup and hair. So I'm really growing and learning a lot. And, and it's amazing. This is an amazing time. But it's also difficult. It's uncomfortable. It's um, new. It's facing a lot of darkness. And so I'm grateful for it, but it's uncomfortable. So if you're a new subscriber for me, I love you. I'm really glad you're here. I didn't expect anybody to be here. I really want you to approve of me. Honestly, I'm just being honest. I really want my TikTok and my YouTube channels to blow up. I really want to be rich and famous. I really want to model and be an influencer. I don't know if I could ever model because I get really, really tired. And right now I'm still, I'm still not really confident in my beauty. Not, not at a level of a model. Um, but I want to be, I want to be, but not with pressures and expectations and fakeness, but just as I am. Okay, so I have a lot of body aches at times. I'm very awkward and uncomfortable at times, very much. Um, I get really insecure about my twin flame because he is sexy as hell to me. He's amazing to me. See, nothing works. I put this in my hair. It's hurting. Like, I buy all this stuff to try to, you know, be cute. And it just, this is me. And then my, my neck is tense. Um, so here I am, valuable, beautiful, loving, patient, kind, strong, fearless, um, showing myself, showing my soul, not my body, my soul. It's just, I, I have to order, it's not always easy to find stuff that fits. I don't, I focus on making sure there's food and toilet paper and body wash and shampoo and conditioner and toothpaste and toothbrushes and f f flossers and wipes and 
Kleenex and paper towels and spices and drinks and waters and elect like there's so much to running a house and being a single mom having two kids and working and trying to record myself and everything it's it's not easy so I don't always focus you know I just put something on quick I don't I don't have a lot of patience with that um, and the same with my hair. My hair is a wreck. I mean, it's fine a little sometimes. I like it. But I know how different my hair is. I know how multiple colors and weird it is. I know that it's a shocker. It looks like a failure. So I, I'm. I, it's the best I can do. I've done this twice now on my hair. I can't do it anymore. And I, I don't know what else to do. So I like it sort of. But it's uncomfortable for me. It's weird. It's borderline. People might look down on me or think I'm a failure. I might. There's borderline shame here. So I'm in this awkward place in my life where I feel uncomfortable. Yeah, I'm being my own person. But is it enough? Is it good enough? My weird hair, is it okay? You know, there's like this place of being cool, sexy cool, and being bad weird. You know, so um, there they are again. They're there. I'm, I, so I would, I seem to err on less than more. I don't like neck collars and all that. So now, so I'm trying. I have stuff on my shopping cart, but then there's something in me that says, I can't people please. So I'm not trying to be scummy or skanky or whatever. Not. But I'm not trying to be ashamed of myself and people please either. So yeah, I want people to see me. I want people to approve of me. I want to be rich and famous. I want you to send me gifts and money and and I want to travel around the world and I want to connect with people. I want to like so much. Um but I can't change. I can't I can't be pressured and manipulated and ashamed of myself anymore so I can't follow the rules I can't be the mom that I thought I should be in my head the woman that I thought I should be in my head what I think that my twin flame would want that I think that my kids would want that I think that my neighbors and my followers would want I have to be me and it's another level that I'm in now that's uncomfortable that's weird to me it's weird to look at myself like this and to feel oh my god so uncomfortable because I look so weird and different I want to look like everybody else sort of but I can't it's not comfortable I can't do it so it's a level of stress right now in my life because of just being me just breathing so I'm working on Look, I like I, I just bought like towels. Um, my one daughter, I send her money. My other daughter, I give her money. My other son, like I it's I, I constantly am spending money. I constantly am pouring out money. So, yeah, it's can be stressful and I'm not always you know, I do the best I can to take care of myself. But I'm not going to wait until I get it all together and I'm all nice and look the way everybody else looks and, and you know, the way that I even want to look in my head. I don't have time for that. I want to make sure that I express what I'm thinking, what I'm feeling, and what I'm experiencing and be true to that. That's more important than the way I look. That I got, I, I paid a bill today, that I cooked dinner today, that I washed the dishes today. Well, cooking dinner, that's an option. I don't, but I have food, to, you know, I'm maintaining my life. I'm stable. I'm trustworthy. I'm open. I'm honest. So that's what I want to be admired for. That's what I want to be respected and, and appreciated and valued for. 
my character, my integrity, my love, my um, strength to to want to heal, to help the world, to value people, to connect with people, to show people what healing really looks like. And what a real person really looks like. I want you to be inspired by me. I want you to feel my energy. I want you to see my transformation. I want you to feel and see my realness. I'm uncomfortable with my hair. But it's okay. It's to hair. This color will be out before I know it. And I'll, you know. And no, I don't want anybody's help. I'm fine. <laughs> I don't think. So. This is my journey out of codependency, out of self-hate, out of insecurity and anxiety, out of depression, into self-love. Yep. So I'm glad you're here. I welcome you. Like, subscribe, and share my videos. Um, it's time to be real. It's time for the masks to come off. It's time for your authenticity it's time for safe spaces to be created, to cry and to feel and to heal. So I love you guys. I think that's all I wanted to say right now. Thanks for viewing me. You're so valuable to me. I love you so much. And I'm going to allow myself to fulfill, to be the best me and, and to have, you know, what is my desires? What is for me? What is my purpose? So please um, know that you're loved and you're valued. And just remember, heart matters. <laughs> Less than hair. Oh, but I feel beautiful. Now, at the end, I suddenly feel beautiful. It is important to feel beautiful inside and out, but we got to do the inside work too. That's probably more valuable. That's going to change the outside. Yeah, I'm 54 years old and this is what I look like. No makeup. With hair color. And you know what I use? Affirmations. Self-love. I don't drink alcohol. I don't drink... I don't smoke cigarettes anymore. I don't take medication. And what do I use on my face? Vaseline, some vitamin E oil, some jojoba oil, some almond oil, apricot oil, whatever oil I got around. So everybody can is special. Every life matters. Every tear matters. Crying is so beneficial. So I love you. I love me. No lip in everything. I'm still beautiful. I'm still valuable. No matter what my age is, no matter what my weight is, no matter what my looks are, whether I'm ugly, whether I'm considered ugly or considered pretty. Adios!